How to Kill a Tower Trinidad Version with Jacob and Nish Vlogs. <laughs> listing for the pots the covers the towers over here for the different sizes so check it out check it out yeah so these are the different sizes down there and they also have these as well hey guys welcome back to the channel it's a boy Jacob today's video is just Jaylee and daddy Naraya and mommy's in the bedroom Naraya is already I'm about to cure my tower so I actually picked up a tower in Arriba this week here. You would have seen the vlog that I did in Sioux Market. When I did my call around, because I actually called the different stores, instead of walking to each one to find out who has the tower cheaper, I got the best price at Sioux Market. This is a 16 inch tower. You guys can see the 16 there. I bought this to make my roti on, my sada, and my bus up shot. I'm going to try to make and Dalpri was um, roti for the first time so I decided to get a bigger tower than needed and nothing is wrong with having bigger I had a tower before but I lost it so I had to buy over one when I'm making my bus up I normally make it in my frying pan and you all see the frying pan size compared to that right and you all know it's only here I use it so yeah it was about time so Arima 16 inch the course is actually 150 the 15 course 140 y'all can check out the vlog I did I'll put a little snippings in this video as well but y'all justice for your money it is solid it has weight as I told y'all I used to work there so the staff know me pretty well so to start with what I'm going to do is a little bit of alcohol yes y'all see that boom shot the numbers fade off and I'm going to wipe it away now so that is it <laughs> a little alcohol took off the price it's not in permanent marker it's just in regular marker so do not start your tower with that on it I'm going to wash out my tower and dry it with my kitchen towel it so you see when I'm using this I either have to use it on the front it may not fit on the whole back burner yeah I'll have to more, use it more to the front burner when I'm using it um, the next process now is to get a little bit of oil and napkin and rub it in <sighs> making all that noise for Yes, you yeah. So, as I said, I am learning. So, this is what my research showed me to do. If you all have any tips or tricks, you can leave it in the comment section for me. So, yes, I'm rubbing it. You don't have to do it on the two sides. And I said that you could do this a couple of times. So, you could get that non-stick effect off of your well not off but to get your tower to be non-stick so that way when you're doing things they don't stick on it all the time so yeah so yeah i'm going to rub it for about a minute and game also somebody told me that how if you have sandpaper and all you can rub it down with sandpaper don't forget to leave your tips or what you learn in the comment section so you can actually help the next person who purchase a tower right so I'm just doing what I I learned from the research I did but that's what the comment section is there for for you to help the next person and now I'm going to put it on the fire on a low heat for about five minutes 
before I actually light the fire and pose, I need to take out my thumbnail picture because all well, you know when I'm done with this, it will be too hot, right? <laughs> so I'm just posing how to kill a tower. Trinidad version with Jacob and Nish vlogs. <laughs> all right, I don't put my fire on high. I want it on low. So I'm setting it on a low flame. Placing it on top. I'm going to leave it here for about five minutes. So it's out of the way from Jaylee. I don't see much local. Well, I haven't seen any local videos on this topic. Um, I was actually watching Point Boy video, what he was doing for, with Mr. Knockerpot. And his prep for it, his video showed that he has two brand new pots and he's boiling them on the stove. And he put some vinegar in it. That is what he said in it. That's how he is, is seasoning, curing his new pots, right? So if you all have any information, as I said, leave it below. Because I love to cook and I will love to learn new ways of doing things. And this is something new to me. The first time I owned, I did not do this. And I'm trying to go about everything I do the correct way. Because I want all my appliances and and accessories for my home to last a lifetime. I want when those gears get big, it could be handed down to them, right? So, <laughs> say hello. Say hello. <laughs> say hello. One, two, three, four, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Well, even here she come to <laughs> two numbers. She don't like to talk on camera, but she's a very intelligent one. Okay, so for the seasoning part, now one of the things I learned, or I should say I saw in a video, was you take one onion and you cut it in half. And you're going to be rubbing this onto your tower to give it some flavor. And then the next half you'll just cut it up and just move it up and down on your tower and get rid of it. And then wipe it down and oil it and do it again. So that's what I'm going to do next here. So you're all hearing that. Yeah. And it actually smells good. I sure the go cover it and ask me while cooking. Yeah. Well, yeah. If you're doing this at home, somebody go want to know what's going on in your house, what cooking. Because my mouth watering right now. Wow. I do it all up here together. You see me? I do it all over. I do it all over. Yeah, well, yeah. Wow. Jilly like how that's smelling. <laughs> so yeah. Okay guys, so I went back and did it some more times and the process is completed now. You guys could do it as much as you want. You could do it one time. I did mine three times. So I hope you all enjoy this little vlog that I did here. I have it on the stove, I rinse it off, did it again, rinse it off, did it again, right? So, this is the tower here. You all can see the little glossiness to the finish now. So, I hope you all enjoyed this little short video I did. We'll see you in another one. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Give daddy a kiss. Mwah. <laughs> I love you. Mm-hmm.